scientists have successfully learned how to reverse aging. This is super cool. For years, scientists have been trying to figure out how to reverse aging. I mean, aging is a huge fear many people have, so actually having an elixir of life is incredible. Researchers have been testing a compound on mice that can activate the DNA repair progress and reverse the effects of aging. The lead researcher on this project is David Sinclair from the University of North South Wales in Australia and the Harvard Medical School in Boston. He believes the serum will soon be ready to test on humans. And he said, This is the closest we are to a safe and effective anti aging drug that's perhaps only three to five years away from being on the market if the trials go well. He also hopes that he and his team will be able to start human trials before the end of this year. This is huge, such a life changer. It's amazing how far medicine has come. Hey everyone, and welcome back to LP on this beautiful Tuesday. I'm Court McGinley. As always, we have a bunch of interesting news stories headed your way, so let's get right into it. Next, if you're supposed to be flying with United Airlines in the near future, make sure you're not wearing leggings. On Sunday, a traveler sent out a tweet that grabbed a lot of attention, and that was about a young girl being barred from a Minneapolis bound flight because she was wearing leggings. Apparently, leggings are not part of the dress code. United is allowed to refuse transportation for passengers who are barefoot or not properly clothed. How are leggings not considered clothes? I always wear them during my flights because they are super comfortable. Apparently, the company is against form fitting spandex pants. About the incident, United spokesman Jonathan Gurin had this to say The passengers this morning were United Pass riders and not in compliance with our dress code for company benefit travel. We regularly remind our employees that when they place a family member or friend on a flight for free, as a standby passenger, they need to follow our dress code. To our regular customers, leggings are welcome. Thank God for that. This seems a little extreme. I'd say let the girls be comfortable while they're flying. Next, Muslim women stand with London terror attack victims. Victims in solidarity on Westminster Bridge. As you guys know, on Wednesday there was a horrible terror attack in London. Five people were killed and another 50 injured near the House of Parliament. The attacker was 52-year-old Khalid Massoud. And at 2:40 p.m. on Wednesday, he decided to mow down members of the public with a car on Westminster Bridge. Soon after, he was shot down by police. The women making this stand, which was organized by the Women's March on London, came from all different backgrounds. They stood holding hands for five minutes as Big Ben chimed 4 p.m. and they wore the color blue as a symbol of hope. While this was an awful attack that will scar many people, it's nice to see that the community can still come together. Next, a new Netflix movie will be coming soon and it's all about the mystery of Jean Benet's murder. This happened 20 years ago and it's the biggest unsolved murder mystery of our generation. For those of you who don't know, Jean Benet was a 6 year old pageant girl who was sexually assaulted, had her head bashed in, was strangled with a cord and was murdered in her house. At first, the prime suspects were either an intruder or Jean Benet's parents or her brother Burke who at the time was 9 years old. The son was a suspect because he was the only person in the house earlier that evening while his parents were out at a Christmas party. Recently, Burke had an interview with Dr. Phil and his demeanor was very bizarre. The family was ultimately more or less cleared due to a lack of DNA evidence, but there is a lot of people that still believe them to be responsible or say they know who did it. Right now, Netflix is casting the role of Jean Benet, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see how this movie plays out. Next, with Easter right around the corner, Lush has come out with an adorable Easter theme collection and you're going to want all of it. The entire collection is available online and in stores now. Here are some of the awesome items from the collection. The new chicken mix bath bomb, which is apparently filled with surprises. Lava lamp egg bath bomb, golden egg bath bomb melt. I actually got this one two or three years ago and if you don't want to sparkle for days, I'd stay away from that one. Yeah, learn that the hard way. Bunch of carrots bubble bar, flopsy face wash jelly and so many more. So if you guys like bath bombs or Lush products, I did a video on my personal channel where I got a bunch of Halloween bath bombs and tested them out. So feel free to head on over to my channel Courtney McGinley Vlogs to check that out. And there's lots of other videos there for you guys to check out as well. Also if you like what you see then please subscribe, it would make my day. I also have some Easter themed videos coming out next week as well, so you don't want to miss that. Next, emoji lovers get ready because 69 new emojis are coming your way. We got breastfeeding women, dinosaurs, open mouth vomiting emojis, Chinese takeout and so much more. You're never going to need to talk to your friends ever again, isn't that great? You can just use emojis to say everything. Oh man, it's a weird time we live in. Alright, well there you go, that's all the news stories I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.